Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to deconfigure TLS certificates for Postgres cluster using KeepDB. So let's first uh, take a look at our YMLs. So here you can see that this one is actually our Postgres YML that we're going to deploy. So we have, uh, here, is, here is our YMLs spec, like uh, we have the versions here, and then the replicas, then the standby mode, here is hot, and the client mode here is scrum, then the mode is verify full. And we have provided TLS uh, configurations where we have provided the issuer reference. Uh, with this issuer, we are going to like uh, create and uh, issue our certificates. So uh, first, uh, before deploying this one, we need to create the uh, issuer here. So let's just take a look at our issuer's YML. So you can see that here is our issuer's YML. And in spec, we have provided a CA secret name where we are going to store our CSRT and CA key uh, for this issuer. So first let's uh, create the secret. Then we can deploy the issuer. Let's get the issuer. You can see that the issuer is ready to, uh, ready to true. So we can uh, use this issuer to issue new certificates. So let's now deploy the demo page YML. You can see that uh, all the ports are coming up and running now. So let's just get the Postgres here. So you can see that the Postgres status here is provisioning. We need to wait uh, for the Postgres status to be ready here so that uh, Postgres, Postgres can accept all sorts of connections. So let's just wait for this just to be ready. So you can see that the status here is ready now. Uh, let's get the certificate for uh, in our demo, demo name space. So you can see that there are three certificates there called demo busy client cert, demo busy matrix exporter cert, and the demo busy server cert. So demo busy client cert is actually for the client uh, who, is, who are going to connect to their server and the demo is demo G matrix exporter chart is for the, our matrix exporters and the server chart is for, for our server uh, with which certificates uh, the server is going to be like uh, uh, configure their TLS configurations. So if we just uh, take a look at our client chart, then you can see that um, here is our spec of this client chart where is the common name is Postgres and the issuer if is uh, issuer, uh, Postgres issuer and the secret name here is Postgres PG client chart and the user here is uh, client dot key if, uh, encipherment and the digital signature. <laughs> now, what we're going to do is uh, we need to, uh, like we are going to upgrade uh, the uh, client's, uh, client certificate uh, for our uh, Postgres server. So here we have uh, we have obstacles to IML. You can see that the version here is ops.qp.com here and alpha one. Then the kind here is Postgres ops request. And uh, in our spec session, you can see the type here is deconfigured TLS. As we are deconfiguring our TLS certificates, that's why the type here is deconfigured TLS. And we have also the database safe that we have uh, earlier created. Uh, our that this is actually our instance name. And then and uh, we have a spec called TLS, and then uh, uh, we have a certificate section here where we have provided a, uh, areas uh, like client. Then we have uh, provided the information that we are going to change, like the email addresses. Uh, we're going to add these email addresses, then we're going to change the subject organizations like mydev.com. So now let's uh, apply this off request. So you can see that the office has been created. Now let's get the office request. So here you can see that the office request is now progressing. So let's just wait for the status to be successful. You can see that it has been already started to terminate uh, the ports of this uh, of our Postgres uh, cluster. Uh, it is going to terminate uh, Postgres cluster spot one by one and restart them with new configurations.
so let's just wait for the uh, uh, status uh, uh, the for the status to be successful of this off request Now you can see that it's going to update the MPG one as it's it has been already already updated at MPG zero. Now you can see that it is timing again the MPG one. So it's uh, going to be restarted soon and uh, sync with the cluster, cluster again. Now I can see that demo page one is in running state. Now let's uh, wait for the demo page to be terminated and restart again. You can see that now the water has been started to terminate demo page two. Now you can see that the demo PG2 has been uh, uh, running now. So, and we also you also can see that the reconfigured TLS sister has is successful. So, we can finally say that we have successfully uh, updated our TLS. Let's uh, TLS for client cert. Let's just uh, get the certificate. If we just get the certificate, then in our spec section, you can see that the email address has been added properly and also the subject has been added. So uh, the uh, client start has been updated successfully. That's all from my side. Thank you, everyone.